Hey there, here are your top news stories from eWeek. Samsung has introduced Galaxy Apps, which is a new online store where Galaxy device users can purchase apps rather than using Google Play. Samsung stated that the store will feature hundreds of apps for its Galaxy line of Android smartphones, along with greater customization for Galaxy device owners. Galaxy Apps has three sections, Staff Picks, Exclusives, and Top. While the Staff Picks and Top sections are common features of many app stores, the Exclusive section is the one that removes the Google name from the picture and encourages users to think of the Samsung name when they think about apps. Apple recently responded to allegations from Chinese broadcaster CCTV that a frequent locations feature on the iPhone could pose a security threat. An interviewee on CCTV claimed that, if hacked, the track data on the frequent locations feature could reveal the country's economic situation or even state secrets. Apple explained that many users enjoy location-based services but find it inconvenient to wait several minutes for GPS satellite-based data to be configured. The point of the stored information in this app is simply to reduce that wait time. The company added that the app is optional and can be disabled. The Raspberry Pi Foundation, the company which two years ago launched the Raspberry Pi, a mini computer aimed at enthusiasts and students, is rolling out an upgraded version that includes more USB ports and better power consumption. The Raspberry Pi Model B Plus isn't an entirely new model, but should be considered the final evolution of the original design, according to Foundation officials. However, the Foundation plans to eventually introduce a new model. Following in the steps of many other enterprise IT companies, Fujitsu has announced plans to invest billions of dollars to expand its cloud computing capabilities. The company intends to spend $2 billion over the next two years to grow its abilities in such areas as platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, software as a service, and cloud integration. The company also set the goal of generating $3.5 billion in cloud revenues. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.